Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I want to look at adjusting entries and although there are many types of adjusting entries we're going to focus on prepaid expenses. So an adjusting entry is really just an entry that's made in our general ledger that occurs at the end of an accounting period to recognize any unrecognized income or expenses for the period. Remember, in accrual accounting, we want to make sure that our revenues and expenses are matched to the period. The end of the accounting period can be the end of a month. It can be at the end of a quarter. Oftentimes, it's at the end of the year. So there are five types of adjusting entries. We can adjust for accrued revenues and accrued expenses. We can adjust for deferred revenues prepaid expenses, and then our depreciation expense. But this video is going to focus just on prepaid expenses. All right, so we're given that the prepaid insurance account had a beginning balance of $3,655 and was debited $6,445 um, for premiums paid during the year. Now, assuming the amount of unexpired insurance, which is simply saying the balance in our prepaid insurance account related to future periods is 3265 we need to make the necessary adjusting entry. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to account for this insurance that was purchased during the year. And we can say it was um, maybe liability insurance that we paid for the year. And it was debited for $6,445. Because prepaid insurance is an asset, right, we know that it carries a normal debit balance. We also know that because it is an asset account that we're going to increase with a debit, decrease with a credit, which means our balance is a positive and a negative here. So we are going to assume the amount of unexpired insurance related to future periods is $3,265. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and balance my account. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that using Excel. I'm just going to add my debit balance to this. So I know that at some point during the year, my prepaid insurance has had a balance of $10,100. Except now, here at the end of the year, I'm going to say rebalance and this balance is now only 3265. So I have to make an adjusting entry that is going to reduce the balance in prepaid insurance from this $10,100 to 3265. And I know that that has to be a credit because remember my debit is how I increase my balance. My credit is how I decrease it. So I have to make a credit entry that will reduce the balance from that 10,100 to 3265, which simply requires you to subtract the two amounts. And that is the amount of your adjusting entry. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this amount of insurance and we're going to move it from prepaid insurance and recognize the expense which means my adjusting entry is going to be debit insurance expense because remember debits increase expenses credits decrease them so it's going to be a debit to insurance expense it's going to be a credit to prepaid insurance. So I did that little bit of math and I'm just going to go um, recognize expense and that's going to be a credit entry of 6835 and so if I let Excel do this again remember I'm looking for 3265 I'm simply going to take my debit balance of 10,100. I'm going to subtract the 6835 and there's my 3265. This gives me the 
the amount of my debit entry. So on down here, in insurance expense, I'm going to say um, insurance for anything, uh, for lack of a better term, and that's going to be a debit for 68.35, and then I'm going to balance my account. Remember, these two columns on the right are for our balance, and that's going to be 68.35. So I've kind of done it backwards in that I showed you the ledger accounts first, um, but I think it's easier for what you're looking for is the amount, right, of that adjusting entry of the 6835. So now I'm going to scoot over and make the actual journal entry. So when I come to my journal entry, that was on December 31st. And we said that our debit was to insurance expense. Remember, we always make our debit entry first. And we said it was in the amount of 6835. And our credit was to prepaid insurance. And that was a credit entry for 6835. And that is all there is to making an adjusting entry. So anything that we prepaid, prepaid insurance, prepaid rent, um, prepaid membership to the gym, um, prepaid um, subscriptions, prepaid dues, anything that we pay for an entire year um, and then need to recognize the expense at the end of an accounting period is going to require this same kind of prepaid expense adjusting entry. So I hope you found that um, useful um, as you make your adjusting entries for prepaid expenses. And thanks for watching.